A lot of good information there, but we are waking up this Thursday to a wet and rainy Thursday. We've all been hoping for this rain. Ashley, what can we expect as the day progresses? Yeah, well, we're definitely can see some of those showers mainly off into the afternoon hours. Scattered thunderstorm chances are going to be something to watch as well. And I'll walk you through some of the threats that we're tracking, but otherwise this rainy weather pattern is really going to hold us here for in Central Texas through the middle of next week. And that's also going to bring our temperatures down. We can kiss those triple digits goodbye for the long term period. And I'll show you that seven day forecast in a second. This morning, I want to start you off with that look at radar, and it's a quiet picture for the most part across the Lone Star State. For us here in Central Texas, we did have a couple of sprinkles this morning, still seeing it in some of our eastern zones, but for the most part, we are dry with temperatures varying from the low to mid to even the upper 70s. If you're out in Colleen, Temple, 77 degrees, 74 degrees, a very cool will start as you head out the door in Waco. Well, as I mentioned, this morning should be on the quieter end, but it's really once we get into the afternoon that things start to kick off as this main event takes place. So let's track it here hour by hour for you. This is your look by the time we get into 10 o'clock by your lunch hour is really when we're going to start to see some of those showers and storms, widespread showers and storms later this afternoon into your evening hours. Now, once we get to sunset, most of this activity is going to fade away, tapering off into the overnight hours, though we could see a pop up shower during this time period. Now another chance for some scattered showers is going to be possible for your Friday morning, though most of us will be dry with that cloud cover driver. We are still going to be on the cooler end. So as I mentioned earlier in this forecast, we do have the chance to see some of those stronger thunderstorms. We're in that marginal risk for that isolated chance for showers throughout most of central Texas this afternoon, and the biggest threat is going to be damaging wind gusts. So that is something to keep in mind. Really not a day where you're going to want to be outside because not only can we see that also have the chance for lightning, also have the chance for some heavy downpours possible. So it's something you want to enjoy inside, even though temperature wise, this is something a lot of us have probably been waiting for a big drop with temperatures in those lower 90s. Haven't seen the lower 90s since the month of June. The good news is as we go into your Friday we will be mainly dry. But we're also going to see the lower 90s throughout the weekend. Now our next cold front is going to move in on your Monday and that's going to bring us another chance for some rain on your Tuesday and your Wednesday as well. Heavy showers possible along with the chance of some storms really going to start to see those rain chances taper off towards the end of next week. So with this initial system, it looks like we're going to get a good amount of rain widespread across central Texas, but even better rain is going to hold off with this second system that we're expecting next week. I mean, just take a look at these totals one to three inches possible with a higher amounts in those areas east of I 35. So it is a great thing for that drought situation we're currently dealing with as we're in that exceptional drought for most of us here in central Texas. That new drought monitor gets released later this morning. Of course, none of this rain is going to be a accounted for, but next week we should start to see some slight relief to it. Other than the rain, of course, that's the biggest weather story, but look at these temperatures. I mean, just check out the seven day forecast in the low 90s throughout the weekend. And then by the time we get into your Monday, you guys can see correctly. We could see the upper 80s for our highs.